I am your girl PJ and welcome to Love, Sex and Religion. This is going to be a real, raw, authentic podcast with me talking your ear off about everything under the sun. It's going to be so random. So go ahead, like, share and subscribe and hold on to your seat. Let's get into it. It's your girl PJ and welcome to my podcast. I'm very excited about this podcast. I am... Um, finally getting back to doing something that I enjoy doing and something that I do a lot anyway and that's talk. All of my friends can tell you the girl can talk but I am also learning and have learned to listen more. Um, So let me tell you a little bit about myself for those of you who don't know me. I wear a lot of hats okay. I'm a mom, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, um, I'm a rural carrier, I am a realtor, um, I can do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I, I also read tarot. I don't always say that I'm a tarot reader. I call myself a spiritual advisor because so many people attack me when I use the word tarot. So other than that, I am. I am. Okay. I am PJ Matt Carley. I love to be called PJ. Um, the purpose of this podcast um, is just to share some advice, share some life stories, get you guys feedback on it. Maybe you guys can send me an email, tell me how you felt or how it related to you. I am a genuinely cool cat. You know, I'm in my 40s. I, I'm just learning to live again. I took four years, four and a half years to myself to just heal because I was definitely in a bad place coming out of a really toxic relationship that doesn't make the person a bad person that doesn't make me a bad person it just make two people who didn't work out you know go our separate ways and it caused a little trauma especially for me today i wanted to talk to you guys about something and i may i may make y'all laugh and then some of y'all may be real pissed off and some of y'all may call me petty okay but i just wanted to share this story with you guys okay so Many of you know, if you are following me on my social media platforms that platforms that I work out, I've been working out now for over a year and I post my before pictures and my after pictures. I've even um, tried to get other people to join me in my workouts. Um, I have a trainer or well, I had a trainer um, based out of, um, sorry for all the odds, based out of California, who assisted me in my weight journey. And I really, really appreciate him. One of the things that he told me during this process was people don't like to see you change. People won't accept your change like you would expect them to. So kind of be ready for what comes with it. So let me get into my story. First of all, where I'm from, yeah, start losing weight. You either got that thing or you smoking that thing, okay? Losing weight just, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a culture thing. Maybe it's just because people are so used to seeing you at a certain weight that they feel like when you are losing weight that something has to be wrong. Sort of like when somebody died, everybody want to know how they died. You know what I'm saying? And then they all come with a whole, you know, made up story about how this person died. And then they start spreading, oh, you know, so-and-so died. He had a heart attack. He had a heart attack. He just died in his sleep. But anyway, people are very judgmental. And what I've noticed, not just in my weight loss year and just in my life period, that people are not very receiving of my change. So last week, uh, there I had a co-worker who said who mentioned something something to me about my weight. Now before I even get into this story, let me explain to you. She isn't the first coworker to do it and she isn't the first one that I've had to go off on, but just the mere fact that people are so concerned with my weight loss instead of congratulating me uh, uh uh, congratulating me for the process uh the progress that I've made. They're wanting to know, do you know you're losing weight? How much weight you going to lose? You're going to lose so much weight, you're going to disappear. These are the things that I've heard, not knowing that I was initially a 179 pounds, okay? I am now 151 because your girl has put this weight back on, but it looks really nice. And I remember the first time uh, somebody at work said something to me about losing weight. And the funny thing was a lot of these people who say, who talk to me about my weight loss, I don't even talk to them. Like, so what really gets me is the audacity that they have to even speak to me on this matter. But anyway, so one guy told me, he's like, 
you gonna um lose so much weight you're gonna disappear okay i heard that one another black man yeah i'm gonna say that you know the first guy wasn't a black man but the uh one of the black men at work came to me and his little fresh old self um you know you're losing a little weight don't no, no. I said, yeah, I know I'm losing weight. He's like, oh, as if he was surprised. Oh, oh, well, since you know, you know, I'm just saying don't lose too much. These are the things that I had to deal with. So one evening recently, one of my coworkers, let me tell you about this one first, okay? I had this one coworker. She was like, oh, Portia, you know you're losing a lot of weight. She kept on. I was like, nah, I'm good, I'm good. No, you're looking, losing a lot of weight. How skinny are you going to get? My going off senses. Here they go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm good. I'm still telling her I'm good. She not listening to me. I'm good. No, no, girl. I said, why are you going to be, you want me to lose so much weight? So I said, well, how big you going to get? Oh, when I said how big you going to get, now you got the stutter face and you caught off guard and you feeling offended. Well, I felt offended because you kept messing with me, okay? Now, this particular co-worker, she came to me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a year and some change in. Now, everybody else was saying it earlier in the game. Because first of all, I really wasn't noticing that I was losing weight. I definitely deal with self-image issues where I, I may be smaller than I really think I am. Or I may be bigger than I really, I really think I am. I've been dealing with this the majority of my life. So now I'm at an age in my life where I'm okay with this, this weight loss journey simply because I know what I'm doing for it. It's not stress. Is it's just I'm working out to look better. I want I want to be fine in forty. Okay, is that a problem? But anyway, so this coworker came to me and I, was it last Thursday? By the time you get this, it's probably been months ago. Okay, um, and she says, Portia girl, whatever you getting skinny and skinny. So I'm like, no, I'm getting finer and finer. She's like, no, nah, no, nah, you getting skinny and skinny. I said, like I said, I'm getting finer and finer because I am. And she's like, no, nah, no, nah, whatever you doing, you need to stop doing it. Whoa. So here go my going off senses again. So I said, oh, really? Because really, I, I'm just trying to move this conversation on because I already see what you hitting at. So I, before I knew it, I'm like, well, whatever you doing, you need to stop doing because you getting bigger and bigger. And I swear to God, I thought you was nine months pregnant. Now, that was a quick comeback and it was very, and I'm sure it probably hit her in the gut literally because people in the office really thought she was pregnant. She wasn't really pregnant. She just was getting big in her stomach area. But the point that I'm trying to make is short was out of line, just like everybody else. You were out of line discussing with me about my weight loss when I really don't even talk to you. The audacity of these people. First of all, I'm a poster carrier myself. If you work there, you may be a little crazy, okay? So y'all out of pocket to even be discussing or talking to me about me. And then she wanted to play victim. Let's get back to the story because, you know, I will go on a tangent. Then she wanted to play victim. Oh, God, girl, you heard what she said about me. Okay, Karen, don't play with me because you know what you said to get the reaction that you got from me. And normally people have been struggling to get a reaction from me, but don't play with me. Okay, because I take that as you trying to be funny and I don't even know what you're trying to be funny for because I don't talk to you. So you got the balls to talk to me about my weight. I ain't talking to you about Jenny Craig. I ain't talking to you about keto. I ain't talking about to you about nothing when it comes to weight loss. I don't even say hey and bye. I don't say good morning, girl. How was your day? How was your kids? Your husband? Good. I don't say nothing to you. And have I do I say anything to any of the other people? No. So where was all that coming from? So I took that as you was coming from a devious place and I just hit you in the gut. And I'm sure you went home and your feelings were hurt because I also heard, I said, girl, I guess I got, I got to lose a little weight. You do. You don't need to lose weight, shorty. You just got to get rid of that gut and you got to be mindful of your mouth. So when people are going through their weight loss journey. You don't know if it's intentional, if there's an underlying disease. You don't know if it's stress. You do not know what people are go got going on in their lives, the reason why they are losing weight. Some of, sometimes we just lose weight because it comes with age. Everybody don't get big. But the point that I'm trying to make is, watch your mouth. You don't do that. I'm not going to go to somebody whether I talk to them or not and be like, girl, you don't, you little big, you pregnant. Nor am I going to be like, you gained a little weight, ain't I? Or I, I'm not going to approach anybody when it comes to their physical appearance about anything, no matter what I think in my head. That's, first of all, is disrespectful and you out of pocket. And, I, and I've seen several times where I've heard people when they lose weight that the people around them who are used to them looking a certain way and acting a certain way, eating a certain food, I'll be so concerned about 
you sick? You, you something wrong with you? Uh, instead of just saying, well, I see you, you, your diet working for you. I see your workout plan working for you. We have this mind frame and it is so sad to immediately think the negative about someone's weight loss journey. I see people with black lips every day. I don't think they on crack. So why is it that if somebody is losing weight, you automatically assume that they have a problem? I mean, I'm, I'm, I, me personally, my skin is pretty thick. Like I said, I've been doing, dealing with this self. Uh, I think it's body dysmorphia thing for ever since I was 16 years old. My family knew. Don't mention to her that she's losing weight because if she losing weight, she gonna eat. Don't miss, mention to her that she gaining weight because if she gaining weight, she gonna stop eating. I dealt with that. I did. I did all of that. So I, I am glad that I am where I am mentally and my back is strong enough to let some things roll off of me. And I tried to let Shorty go on with the past and just let her know, no, girl, I'm getting fine. Sorry, you're not. But you kept trying to, hey, come for me. And so you never know what you're going to get when you step to people the wrong way. OK, you don't need something that may be simply you joking or instead of just asking, girl, what you doing to lose weight or asking people what it is that you want to know. Don't be trying to throw shade and throw shots because you don't know if they come for your throat. Don't play with me. OK, about my weight. Anyway, I am looking good. I do give shots out to my trainer. He 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 put your girl in there. He, he especially got my mind right. And that is one of the major things if you are thinking about losing weight, you got to get your mind right. It's just like with any other goal that you set. If your mind ain't made up to get yourself in shape, if your mind ain't made up to get your mental together, if your mind ain't made up to save money, if your mind ain't made up on whatever it is that you said that you're going to do, you're going to struggle in it. And I struggled a lot. I still struggle. That's why this thing is a lifestyle. It's not just a fad to get on here to get likes so y'all can see your girl working out. And I ain't gonna lie, I do sometimes post them back pictures because I want y'all to see that back gonna come together. And yeah, so that is my first podcast. And I mean, I just it was a little random, but I wanted to at least get one out here for y'all. I am your girl, PJ. Stay tuned. We got more to come. And hopefully... We'll get some guests on here, okay? Love to love you. Thanks. Peace.